So how do you master your mindset? The best example I can give you is how I managed to master my mindset. And it all goes back to losing my brother. I always say that life happens for you and not to you. And that, in a nutshell, is growth mindset. And for me, losing Liam in the way that I did, the argument that we had, me unfortunately finding him and, and all that trauma that I went through, it ruined me. It ruined me for years. I was in such a bad place. But eventually I just got to a point where I thought, no one's going to get me out of this. No one's going to do this for me. I need to drag myself out of this hole and I need to do something about it. And what I did was I saw that at the time was something awful, but, you know, trying to fast forward to where we are now. I see that as something that happened for me for a reason. And don't get me wrong, I'd give anything for him to be here right now, but that happened for a reason. And that reason was now because I am doing what I'm doing. I've been on this journey with Tom's Talks for the last five years. And I can honestly say, hand on heart, the best thing that's ever happened to me is somebody turning around to me and saying, if you did not do Tom's Talks, I would not be here right now. And yes, I lost my brother, but how many people have I managed to stop doing something that they would have regretted if I'd have not done Tom's Talks? And that would have not have happened if that had not happened to Liam. So that's for me, is how you master your mindset. It's about seeing all the traumas, all the challenges, all the adversity that you go through, and using that as fuel to the fire to make a positive change to the world. And that for me is how I mastered my mindset. I saw all these negative things that had happened, all these challenges, and I flipped it on its head and I used it and to, to help other people, to set up Tom's Talks, to set up TT Collective, the one-to-one the -one mindset coaching. And how I've been able to do that now, again, for me, to master your mindset, it starts with the morning. Uh, I always say, you know, if you want to win the year, you have to win the month. If you want to win the month, you have to win the week. And if you want to win the week, you've got to win the day. And how you win the day is by winning the morning. To master your mindset, the first thing that you do when you wake up in the morning is the most important thing you will do in the day. And the example I can give you is the worst thing that most people do when they wake up in the morning is they go straight on their phone and they go straight on social media, straight scrolling on TikTok and Instagram or whatever platform it is. And by doing that, you've got sucked straight into this online reality. You've got sucked straight into this comparison game that we're all doing when we're on there, you know, seeing everybody else's lives and thinking, why is my life not like that? And I've said many, many times before that Instagram is not real life. TikTok is not real life. It's the highlight reel of everybody's lives. So the one tip I can give you to master your mindset is that very first thing you do in the morning is do something positive, do something productive, do something that's going to start your day in the best possible way. And I'll give you an example of my morning routine. It doesn't take a long time, but it sets me up for the best possible day. When I wake up in the morning, first thing I do, I don't go on my phone, I avoid it, I check the time, obviously I make sure it's time to get up, go downstairs, I rehydrate, have a glass of water, vitamins, minerals, all that good stuff, and then I'll jump in a cold shower. Uh, for me, it gives me a clear head, it sets me up for the day, it makes me awake, it makes me focused, um, and then I go straight to the gym and I'm doing some weights or whatever it is. That for me is the perfect morning routine for me, and after I've done that, I feel honestly like I can achieve anything. I'm ready to take on the world. That might not be for everybody. That's just what works for me, you know? And this is where the mindset coaching comes into it. I help people implement all these good habits, positive routines, and we see what works for them. And like I said, we're all different, but we've got to find this routine that's going to set ourselves up for that perfect, perfect day. And like I said, it all starts with the very first thing that you do when you wake up in the morning. So that for me, is how you master your mindset. You take all life's adversities, all life's traumas and challenges, you flip it on its head and you use it as fuel to the fire to help other people. Lose yourself in the service of others by using your hardship to help other people. That's how you create the best possible mindset.